Good evening, everyone. I'd like to call tonight's special regular meeting of Council to order. Recommendation that the agenda for the special regular council meeting of April 20th, 2017 be adopted as circulated. Moved by Councilor Niche, seconded by Councilor Cunningham. All those in favor? Any opposed? Yeah. Motion's carried. Okay. Report from uh, Chief Financial Officer. The community charter requires the City of Prince Rupert to prepare an annual financial plan bylaw and annual property tax bylaw. Both bylaws must be adopted on or before May 15th of the current year. The annual financial plan describes the expenditures the City expects to make during the year. The annual property tax bylaw sets the municipal property tax rates that the annual financial plan is dependent upon for funding the proposed expenditures. Staff has prepared both bylaws for Council's consideration. It incorporates the 1.5% mill rate increase Council directed on April the 11th. The property tax bylaw also sets the property tax rates for three other taxing authorities, which we are required to include on the property tax notice. Those local governments are the North Coast Regional District, the Skeena Queen Charlotte Hospital District, and the Northwest Regional Hospital District. In addition to their normal tax requirements, the Northwest Regional Hospital District is in the process of raising capital for the purposes of a capital infrastructure project fund. This has resulted in a 65.2% increase in the amount collected compared to last year. The amount required of each community in the Northwest is dependent on the assessment value. Prince Rupert is contributing 15.6% of the overall Northwest Regional Hospital District tax requirements. In conclusion, Council, by introducing and giving first, second, and third reading to both the 2017 five-year financial plan and property tax bylaws, will be furthering the process of complying with the community charter. Thank you. Okay, I move that Council give first, second, third readings to the 2017 five-year financial plan bylaw number 3413-2017. Second, second by Councilor Kinney. Discussion? I was I was just wondering at the um, if the um, financial officer can go over uh, the changes in the uh, general operating uh, funds, both the both the revenues and the expenditures, the, the major differences between the last meeting and this meeting. So uh, um, if last meeting we were, you're, you're suggesting that um, we have a 2.25 percent increase and. Um, at 1.5, that's uh, that's two quarter of a percent cut. So I was wondering where 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 you have determined that you can cut in order to balance the budget. And the uh, second question is um, uh, when I looked at the uh, property taxes existing and the property tax increase for the um, for uh, uh, there's a difference between the April 5th, 2017 and the April 20th, 2017 <coughs> estimations of uh, property taxes and, the, and an increase. So I was wondering, I hate to put you on the spot, I should have written them down first, but I... No, that's quite all right. Um, so as mentioned in the previous uh, meeting, the reduction in assessed values actually uh, um, made an, uh, it, it changed the property taxes existing Okay, so that basically we managed to cut a small amount out of the uh, expenses to make up for that difference. Um, and so then the only other difference compared to the previous meeting uh, when we got direction for only 1.5%, we took out the $100,000 from the, the, snow, the expected possible snow uh, removal. So we removed that and we also made the... Uh, the uh, same cut from the revenues that did not get passed. So we're back to $160,000 as being the need to balance the budget, and we have uh, slightly shaved off the existing amount based on what the uh, change in assessment was. So the so when we're looking at the uh, property taxes existing, uh, that number went down uh, on April 5th. That was. Um, uh, 15 million. Uh, the budget was for 15 million 632, and that's gone down to 15 million 617. That that was just because this the first budget wasn't adjusted because of the property uh, property tax. Is that is that a mill rate adjustment? 
No, it is not a mill rate adjustment. It is an assessment value adjustment. We were waiting for March 31st when BC Assessment would release their final assessed values. And so when those ones finally came in, we got a couple additional supplementals, they call it. Uh, so once all of that was taken into consideration, the existing property tax uh, tax dollars that we can gain before we actually do a, a, any kind of increase went down. Thank you. Other comments? <coughs> so the, the mill rate for this year has actually gone down from last year, if I'm correct. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And the other thing is we had to increase the budget $160,000 to make up for just the day-to-day -day running of the city and that. Now, if we did not pass this bylaw and the budget had to be cut $160,000, we would be cutting services and other things, like, you know, whether it be a day at the rec center or something like that. That's the only way we could make up if this isn't passed, correct? That's correct. Uh, typically, the ones that suffer this kind of uh, cut our parks and um, and roads uh, generally because um, we try to avoid cutting any of the uh, community services such as the recreation hours that sort of thing well we don't want to cut the roads <laughs> <laughs> okay. any other comments so, so other than um, uh, other than a few minor cuts and um, and dealing with the snow removal, is there any other uh, large changes in the budget? No, there is no changes. Okay, I'll call question. All those in favor? Any opposed? Yes. Motion is carried. Okay, and I'll move that council introduce and give first, second, and third readings to the 2017 property tax file number 3414-2017. I'll second it. Second by Councillor Anish. Okay. Any last discussion? Okay, all those in favor? Any, yes. any opposed? Motion is carried. Okay, motion to adjourn. Moved by Councilor Cunningham, second by Councilor Nish. All those in favor? Meetings adjourned. Thank you very much. See you on Monday. <laughs>